Defense 24's Philip Turrell joins me in the studio for more analysis on what we've been hearing from the two leaders. Philip, what would you say were the main takeaways? Well, I think the main takeaway was solidarity between the United States and France and the rest of Europe face to face with the aggression in Ukraine. Both leaders talking about that in their speeches. Emmanuel Macron uh, speaking for much longer than, than Joe Biden, but uh, saying that the people of Ukraine had shown remarkable courage uh, and that France will continue its backing for as long as it will take. The security and stability of Europe depends on it. Uh, we have been discussing this, uh, Joe Biden and Emmanuel Macron together, uh, and what they're both standing up for is the respect of international law and freedom of the people, and then Emmanuel Macron thanking uh, Joe Biden for being with Europe and standing with Europe in all of that. Joe Biden is saying that uh, the 180 uh, heroes, uh, veterans at the Normandy uh, landing ceremony uh, this week on the 6th of uh, June uh, are a sign of what can be achieved when uh, allies come together in the face of evil. And that is something that he said we can still do. And that is something that we need to remember when it comes face to face with, uh, when we come face to face with the situation in Ukraine, saying that we know what will happen uh, if Putin gets Ukraine and Putin will continue uh, to try to conquer other countries afterwards and we will not walk away from that. So really that is uh, the key message being put forward by those two leaders standing uh, side by side, face to face, uh, determined in uh, what they say is uh, uh, their resolution together to make sure that Ukraine wins uh, the war against uh, the Russians. Yeah, unity in supporting Ukraine. They also talked about their unity in wanting, you know, a full ceasefire deal and the release of all hostages in Gaza. Yeah, that was uh, the first remark that was made by uh, Emmanuel Macron saying that uh, when he uh, was talking about Gaza, he wants uh, the immediate release of all the hostages and open negotiations on security for both people. No mention of a two-state solution uh, by Emmanuel Macron in, in that speech, but saying we demand a ceasefire and we will uh, support uh, the US proposition on that. And uh, Joe Biden uh, saying very briefly that uh, we are working together on what is happening uh, in both the Middle East and in North Africa, but with no real uh, reference to uh, the situation in, in Gaza right now. Uh, but Emmanuel Macron did also bring up the subject of Lebanon, saying that uh, there needs to be coordination in discussions between Israel and Lebanon, and that is something that both he uh, and Joe Biden will be, walking, will be working towards. Macron also brought up one touchier issue, Philip, that they don't quite see eye to eye on, that's the economy. Well, there have been uh, frictions between uh, both sides, uh, particularly over uh, the idea that uh, the United States was going to slap uh, tariffs on the import of uh, Chinese goods uh, and the fact that it, that would also affect vehicles coming from France, for example, French built cars that had Chinese components in them, uh, which would be taxed at a much higher rate and that would undermine uh, the export of vehicles uh, to the United States, which is a big market for French uh, car builders. Uh, and uh, I think there seems to be some kind of opening there that obviously the, the two leaders uh, have been uh, discussing that. Uh, but it's true that, that there is friction over over uh, imports uh, and tariffs. There is also friction over uh, what is happening in uh, the South Pacific, for example. Uh, and um, also the two leaders don't see eye to eye going back to Ukraine on the idea that France has been putting forward of sending uh, troops uh, to Ukraine, French troops to help train uh, Ukrainian forces. Uh, that has been uh, pretty coldly received by by Washington. So I think there's a notion in the United States that uh, Emmanuel Macron is a young and dynamic leader and coming up with ideas, whereas Joe Biden is someone who is much more reflective, much more opposed, and someone who won't uh, speak up until he's absolutely sure about what he's going to do, which is completely the opposite of uh, Emmanuel Macron. But I think what we've seen in this press conference, what we've seen not only uh, just now, but also earlier today in the visit of the uh, Champs-Élysées, uh, and the Arc de Triomphe uh, by uh, two leaders in front of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is this uh, great solidarity between uh, France and the United States, something I think both 
countries, both leaders, are very keen to show, particularly um, when they know they are face-to-face with a Russian aggression and the threat of a new war in Europe.